Hello everyone, today we have a very useful video for those who are really tired of charging their smartphones, their phones, or tablets. After these settings, your Android phone will really last longer. I will tell you about basic battery problems. Why does the battery drain quickly? Sometimes you buy a new phone, it holds the battery charge very well, but after 2-3 to three months, you notice that the phone doesn't last until the end of the day. For example, you wake up at 100%, go to work or somewhere, and by evening you have 15-20% to 20 left, which means the phone works until approximately 8 a.m. without any heavy usage. Just read your phone calls, SNS, browsing, watching videos, YouTube, and so on. And for those who play games, the phone lasts a maximum of 4-5 to five hours regardless of the Android version or phone model you have. You can find all of these settings on your phone, because we won't be using any programs. Just need to go through the standard settings. If you find it difficult to find some of the settings on your specific model, let me know. You can use the search bar here, through which you can find many similar mains and settings. So, first we need to go to the security section. This section is available in the standard settings. And if it's moved to the home screen like mine, we go here and scroll down a bit. We need to find data transfer. It's a small icon, so we need to data transfer, and here we have network connections. We go here on the right side, you can see the active check marks. This means that these applications have constant access to mobile internet and they update themselves. Show ads, download useless cache, exchange information, and constantly drain your battery. Of course, when you have two to three applications, it's not a big deal, but when you've been using the phone for two to three months, I'm sure you have around 100 applications, including system apps that are all listed here. And each app updates about two to three times a week. But that's just for updates. Data exchange happens very often. Even daily at a specific time. And I'm only talking about one of these apps. They exchange information even when you're not using the phone. They just need to be connected to mobile internet. Here, of course, you need to go through all these settings and disable almost all applications. I would recommend leaving only the ones you frequently use. But need internet access, like messengers or apps that send you notifications. You can disable all the others, and it will significantly save your battery. Next, in the upper right corner, there is a small arrow that you can slide. If we slide it, we can see hidden Wi-Fi networks. When we commit to Wi-Fi, it's the same apps, but they work with your Wi-Fi connection. I'd have already disabled many of them. You can see, I have almost everything disabled, but some apps still make independent requests to connect to Wi-Fi when you download something new. So you can go through unnecessary apps again to reduce battery drain. After that, you need to click on the three dots on the right side. Here, there is a setting called background connection. Click here and it takes us to another menu where there will be more apps. If you haven't been here before, be sure to find and visit this section. Because in the background mode, when all these apps are working, they can start processes to support the work of specific apps. This consumes your RAM and constantly keeps your phone busy, which leads to increased processor frequency. All of this, of course, drains your battery. Maybe it's not so noticeable for those who have a battery with a capacity of 5,000 mAh or more. But when all of these settings are enabled, as I'm showing you now, the battery still drains quickly. Try going through all of these settings, connecting and configuring them, and you will definitely notice a good improvement in your battery life. As for background connections, I recommend almost everything to be enabled. You can see that I have almost everything disabled, but there are still some apps at the end. When you download something new, they make their own request to connect to a Wi-Fi network. You need to go here again and disable all of these. This especially applies to games. Again, leave only a few apps that you frequently use. It could be YouTube, WhatsApp, Viber, or other apps that you often visit. You can disable all the rest without hesitation. After that, we exit the menu completely and go to the standard settings. Here they are, we enter them. And find a section called Google. If you use the Google Play Store, you definitely have this section. So search for it and go here. Look for a menu with additional settings or you will immediately enter a menu like this. It won't be different. 
I recommend disabling ads that are constantly being downloaded to your phone. In this section, you need to perform three actions. Reset the advertising ID, confirm the deletion of the advertising ID, and you should be left with only one option to get a new advertising ID. Of course, it won't completely eliminate ads, but there will be significantly less of them. Then we go back. Now go to personalization with general data. Here you will have several apps. Some have five to six, I have four, and one more. You go in and you will be surprised that they are all active. You can read more about it here, but I will briefly explain. The first option allows Google Apps to use data on your device. What kind of data is this? It's absolutely all the data related specifically to these apps, such as maps, for example. But this includes location, access to your GPS, your mood, and so on. This also includes your email, YouTube. Would you browse on Google Chrome if you search for any information there? But this is just a small part of what I mentioned. In general, you should enable this but again, you can choose not to enable everything. For example, I leave YouTube enabled, but you can disable it if you really watch videos on YouTube. This slider will make it easier for you to find similar videos. If you really watch videos, you don't need this slider either. So you can disable it. Then we go back with the arrow, and there's another setting called Find My Device. It's better to disable it because it constantly uses your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, even when they are turned off in the notification panel. For example, your Bluetooth is turned off now, but it is constantly searching. You need to disable this feature, and there are several more settings on your phone. It seems that we have turned them off, but it's not that simple. Developers have hidden various settings related to Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and your internet connection. You need to check everything, and I'm done with this menu. We go back to our standard settings again and now scroll to the very bottom and look for the location section. Here we are. Here the access to the location is disabled for you. See, if we activate it, you see, the GPS icon appears. And here our GPS location works. Let's say you know that if you use maps, then the battery drains about five times faster. Here, if we disable GPS here, close it, it also automatically turns off in this setting. That's how it should be. But here there is another section called geolocation. We go here to the very top, geolocation, Google. We also go to this section. Here your geolocation is enabled, although it is disabled there. Here we also disable it. Now we return back with the arrow, go to the data transfer. Here page is loading, and check, if you have never been here, you will have a function enabled here, which is called showing your location to other users. I have this function already disabled, I turned it off. It should be like this, the GPS image is crossed out, and the map image says that you are not showing your location to other users. Now we go back. Two more important settings, when Wi-Fi is constantly on, and when Bluetooth is constantly on. Also greatly drain your battery. Look, searching for Wi-Fi networks, I go in, it is enabled to allow applications and services to search for Wi-Fi networks even when Wi-Fi is turned off. But imagine, now everyone walks with a phone everywhere. Wherever you go, there are lots of shops, shopping centers, different establishments, there are Wi-Fi hotspots almost everywhere. Practically every phone has Wi-Fi, and you just walk down the street. And your phone scans all these devices through Wi-Fi. Yes, they are constantly found, they all change in your phone. But you don't even see it, because you don't go into these settings. And this constant unnecessary search also drains the battery a lot. Anyway, all these networks that are found, most of them are password protected. And if you even need to connect to a Wi-Fi, as we usually do, you just go to Wi-Fi settings, turn on the search manually, and find the point you want to connect to. But this setting, it's completely useless, we disable it, go back with the arrow. Don't look at Bluetooth devices, it says the same thing here. Even when Bluetooth is connected, Bluetooth still works. Here it is turned off, and now look, Bluetooth in general. Well, almost everyone has it turned on now, because many people walk around with wireless headphones. And Bluetooth by default should be turned on and working. But this applies not only to headphones, someone has watches, someone has wireless bracelets. If you can still argue a little about Wi-Fi, then with Bluetooth the situation is even worse in general. So we take this function and disable it further. We return from these settings, go back to the standard settings. Where at the words auto start in the search, you may not write it completely, it depends on how you find it. Here we found auto start in the background. For some it will suddenly be auto start, or if you can't find auto start, look for background modes, background connection, or similar names. We go to this setting, and here are all these applications that are here. Take them and disable them. I have already done all this a long time ago. I showed it in other videos. They will all be active for you like this. They appear at the top. They work 24-7 with auto start in the background. That is, this setting drains the battery two or three times faster than without it.